Hey, good morning guys. Anthony, 4 before Diesel. Um, we've got a day where we're um, preparing those front hubs for Prado Zone Hiluxes and I'll just remind you again, um, we do generally keep them in stock but the Hiluxes don't seem to be that popular yet so we don't keep a lot of them. So you, when you order those you need to um, obviously book in and or order your parts, pay for that, we'll order them in, get them ready and send them out to you. Um, and there can be some delays, COVID-19, so there can be, there's a lot of different components involved in this. And as I've said in other videos, there's, even though they're the same parts, there's different part numbers between Prado and Hilux, and even Toyota use different bearings or seals sometimes. About to show you a couple of the problems with some of the parts, even when you're getting genuine parts or OEM supplied parts, that sort of thing. So this is what you pay for, guys. You pay for the time it takes to make sure you get it all right the first time. That's what you're paying for. It's a service. Now, what I'd like to point out first, luckily, the Prado hubs, this is how they come. They're nice and clean. We just obviously make sure, very light coating and grease to press their bearing on amongst all the other things we do. It's quite a job. That's what they should look like. Ideally, not like this, right? So these happen to be Hilux ones, okay? They come in a similar sort of packing I'd suggest that these have been sitting around a long time. You know, they planned ahead with these ones. These ones, we've probably been buying, you know, a lot more of these. Um, so they've maybe had to get some fresh ones manufactured or they've just kept better. Now, they're, they're both in plastic bags. The difference is maybe they, these don't seem to have any rust prevention. There's nothing on there that I can notice. And there's certainly, there's no surface rust, anything whatsoever. They're beautiful in a sealed plastic bag. I'm happy with that. Now, just to not confuse things, I'll move that out of the way. Now these, no shortage of um, mess you can see here, right? So this looks to me like um, a grease or some sort of coating like grease. It's not like we haven't seen it before, but I'm just pointing out that, you know, um, this is all part of the job. Now we're not going to scrub the middle of that out, and I'll tell you what happens. The plastic, you know, it's kind of over the top here. It comes around, comes around this side. You can see... You can see by looking at that, you know, the, obviously when it got sprayed with something, um, it was sitting like that maybe, because you can see it is a, a rust proof coating wax type um, product. Now, I'm not going to spend an hour cleaning each one of these and scrub down there and whatever. The face of this, it's a thin coating, I'm not worried about it. It's actually going to help with um, rust prevention, so I'm actually going to leave this side alone unless it's really bad. In there, you might want to run a, a small wire brush through there if you like, because otherwise it could bind a little bit when you're um, putting it on your drive shaft. What we're going to spend the time on is cleaning this side, because this is what matters. We need to get the bearing on smoothly. We need to have all the seals sitting in place on a nice, smooth, clean surface. So rest assured, we're going to clean this side up beautifully, get it all together with a bearing on there the way we... Um, professionally press and install those, get those all together for you using the best seals. Now while we're at it, I'll show you another. So that's one issue and um, you know, hopefully uh, Toyota Motor Corporation Australia, um, someone's watching some videos and you can just have a look at some of the problems with the parts. Um, maybe they need to be discounted or something because of the time it takes to make them usable, if you know what I mean. Obviously, I'm not sure if you're aware, this is how they should come. I'm sure that's how you want them to come. This is how they're arriving, it's a real pain. Right, so let's just move a couple of these out of the way for a minute and we'll get to the next problem. Okay. Now, it depends. I suppose I'll say you got to be careful where you get your parts. I always say that. You've got to be careful who you go to and where you get your parts from and that sort of thing. So years ago, we talked about, you know, where you want to get your bearings and bearing shops and genuine. And as I just mentioned, there's different, they're the same size bearing same size well they should be the same size seal they're all kind of the same but different there's different bearings some have got abs sensors in them some haven't right and um basically the problem is i don't know if you can see the problem how good it is this is a problem okay so i'm not gonna put brands out there and pick i'm not i don't want to pick on brands and things i'm just trying to provide the information i'm trying to help right I'm trying to help you here whether it's you know you're getting your parts somewhere and what you're doing or where you're going but just be aware so what we do we use genuine or OEM and we will actually actually mix and match and get that use the best quality seal on that bearing okay so if Koyo manufacture a bearing they probably manufacture a seal and guess what their seal is probably going to work best on that bearing so why would you put a 
Let's say, for example, I'm not picking on NOK, NOK brand seal on a Koyo bearing when you can just put a Koyo. So that's what we do, guys, okay? So sometimes if they're not available, then we use the genuine and it'll end up being there. So we obviously do the best we can depending on what's available at the time. Now, I just want to show you, these are supposed to be a really... Okay, not going to name any bearing, you know, not, not you know, like, you know, not pick it on the bearing shops or anyone in particular. I'm just saying, um, you have a look at it, right? See, I'll tell you what the problem is. It's a little bit too small, and it's not the first time we've seen this, and this is not the only brand we've seen it with. Now, I, just rest assured, I've installed hundreds of these, so I know how to install them. Um, we get them on, and it's probably a minute or two per seal, and this is kind of like what it should look like, right? You know, nice and neat. All right, nice and neat. You know professionally pressed on now what i noticed when attempting to install this one it didn't want to go on you could feel it's too big i've had it before and you know what you do you know you're going to wreck the seal it's not going to work but you kind of got to prove it to yourself and as you i've actually had them where they're thinner material like this one's a little bit thinner than this right and you can actually see the edge of the bearing you know it's just you know from seeing it and doing it you know when you're here don't think whatever you know you can't see what's happening the full detail you can you can hear what i'm telling you but um you can actually see and you know that it's too small and this is a case of that and they're quite a thick seal so i'm not sure if that's just going to pull off uh, so it looks like it's on there but you can see because it's too small i'm just going to tip it up like that right obviously it should be like that and that's the side that obviously it doesn't matter which side you whatever that that edge kind of, I suppose went last but it's all because it's too small and you can see there's like a lip now how well you can see that but there's like you know it's kind of like bent out like that because it's just too small it's like even if it wasn't fitted correctly it'd go on in the end sort of thing um, but you can see it's just dodgy and you just can't it's just crap okay total rubbish so obviously we're going to be um, we're going to be that's just going to pop off really easy anyway I'd, like I said I'd be surprised if I couldn't really just pull it off but it is a bit tighter than to pull it off so that'll just tap off it'll get another quality seal but I just want to show you if you are planning to go and get you know to go the cheap option because there is the cheap option there's people that want the cheap option you know you've got an older car I get it you know it's only worth some of them less than 10 grand and you know it can be quite a bit of money to do it the the uh, the right way the first time you know you've got a 15 year old car and it seems like you know if you're spending say a thousand bucks on all these hubs bearings genuine seals all the seals and bolts and everything um, it seems like a lot of money it is a bit of over capitalizing on one hand you look at it but you got to think you got 15 years out of it you want another 15 and remember the poor man pays twice and all the headaches you get because if you if you don't go through this system where it arrives to you already pressed assembled ready to go no problem with our few little extra tips and tricks we've mentioned in other videos and there is some other videos on these that i haven't released yet because they're selling like hotcakes and we need to slow it down a bit so i don't want to i've got to be careful not to put too much information in there because people keep want to do it the right way the first time do it the easy way so they contact me and book in to get them done or or get the um hubs whatever the case may be so um obviously you can have issues with faulty bearings sometimes it may be because it's dropped or whatever you know um but it's very rare you may have problems with seals sometimes whatever brands are supplied in whatever bearing brand aftermarket kit they put together we have not only have we had issues years ago when we tried that option for the cheaper option for people um since then we've been to saying hey look you know you probably shouldn't do that we've had issues and people have come back to us and said yeah you're right you know you know 40,000 k so beware of that um and of course the hubs they can be a real pain cleaning this up and you want to make sure you get it right because as i said it's really important to have a good clean sealing surface here and nice clean lubricated area here for the bearings to be pressed on and they need to be done really carefully you need to know when to stop and of course the correct torque setting when they're installed on the vehicle which again, oh, too many numbers, 235. Believe it's 235 newton meters, but don't believe me, check it up. Hit Google, you'll find something online. You'll find it in our VIP group. If you purchase the hubs, obviously you'd be in there. That's where people want to be. Um, this, I don't know. Like I said, I want to name the brand and you know, oh yeah, no, we've sold, you know, it must be must be me doing something wrong, right? It must be me doing something wrong, of course, because we've sold hundreds of them or thousands of them. Well, why is it that I've installed hundreds of them? not sold them installed them lots of different brands and usually they go on like that that's from the same shop by the way um genuine go on all right usually yeah they do right some brands go on okay and those brands may be the same as genuine and then there's other brands that are even better 
these are the really good ones, apparently. Right? I don't know. Well, to me, not so good. So, not going to name them because it doesn't matter. It's just a mistake they've made. We'll let them know about that. Um, and we may take some photos of these and let Twitter know um, what they're coming out like. Maybe they need to take them out, clean them, repack them, or like I said, reduce the price till they get some fresh stock because it's creating a, a lot of work here. And other than that, guys, it's a butter bing, butter boom. If you want a pair of these or a price, you know what to do. Don't call me. Shoot a text message with your name, vehicle, Prado or Hilux, you know, ABS or not, or whatever you want. Um, and ask the question. I'll probably send you a video showing you what's involved and some of the parts included in. You know, there's over six components and quite a bit of work, to be honest. It's quite time consuming. But it makes it really easy for you because when it's done, if they leave here, they're 100%. They get to you, bada bing, ready to bolt on, four bolts, a nut. You don't have to worry about the hard parts, splitting, pressing hubs, and when seals don't work and trying to install the seals and all that. They're Mickey Mouse when they leave here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. You know the deal. If you got something out of that, give us the thumbs up and subscribe. Turn that bell on so you don't miss the next important bit of information. And I'll be looking in the comments. Let us know if... You've had if you went the cheap road and got some cheap bearings and found out like we did at 30 40 thousand k's later there's all all the grease had come out and the seals sometimes the seals go on and they're a bit big and they actually come off so you just got to be aware of that aftermarket stuff and there's plenty of good aftermarket stuff but there's plenty that's not and if you're not good at working it out um, that's where you could have problems all right guys i'm out of here thanks for watching bada bing bada boom ciao